Welcome to Life Unraveled, where we unravel life's little mysteries. Today we're going to talk about pre-literacy. This whole course is about the little things that we can do to help our kids learn to read. We've got so much here and it's going to be great fun. There's 10, there's 10 videos and you'll have a great time going through them all and learning all the little bits and pieces that you need to know to help your child. Let's get going. Whenever we talk about anything to do with learning, we need to understand how children actually develop and the five different areas that they develop. They develop physically, intellectually, socially, emotionally and spiritually. When we think about all these different aspects, the physical development is quite easy. They uh, can basically do nothing as tiny babies and all of a sudden their vision starts to go, starts to focus. They start to be able to vocalise, they start to be able to move their arms and legs, they roll over, they sit up, they start walking, they start running and they go through a whole physical development and that physical development is well documented. There's also an intellectual development that they go through. When they first see you, that first smile at six weeks or around about then, when they actually acknowledge that they can see you and they recognise you for the first time, that's the very first starts of their intellectual development. And it goes through all the way through and even at 90, people are still developing intellectually. So it's really interesting to see that all these things that we're doing with our kids are going to help them for the rest of their lives. The social development is children understanding where they fit in the world. Now I'm sure you can all relate to a two-year-old having a huge tantrum because they don't get what they want. Well this is some of the things that their social development needs to work on and it's very very difficult for a little one to understand why all these things just aren't going exactly the way that they expect them to go. And as you can see by this footage, it's not just little ones that have tantrums. And so it's really teaching them over the years on what is the expected behaviour socially within our society. Now, another side of their development is their emotional development. And you see children, you can actually see the emotions on their faces. They go through confusion and then sometimes they get angry and frustrated and then all of a sudden things become a little bit easier and you see the delight on their face. Being able to name those emotions and also being able to feel those emotions is a really big important part of their development. And lastly the spiritual side and that's getting back to nature, understanding where they fit if you have a faith, it's understanding the faith and the religion that you're in, but it's not just religion. It's also how they feel with relation to the world. Now, if any one of these areas is not addressed during their development, some of the other areas can't actually proceed to the next, time, to the next development level. So it's really important that we address all aspects of our child's development. And I'm sure you are giving them cuddles and support for their emotional development, telling them no for their social development, really giving them new challenges for their intellectual development. And I even saw on Facebook the other day a dad had created a ninja warrior for his three-year-old to go through and it was all in the backyard and it just looked delightful and that's the physical development. So have lots of fun with the kids with all the areas of development and we're going to in this course look at how we can add those skills for pre-literacy for reading. When we're looking at the intellectual development we find that there are multiple abilities. So one of the abilities that we're talking about is a bodily ability. So it's physically being able to do what our mind wants us to do. For instance, turn the page to read a book. It's often called kinesthetic and you'll hear some educators say your child's preferred learning style is a kin kinesthetic learning style. And that just means that they like to learn through touch. Some of the other words that you'll hear educators use is an auditory learner, which is learning through listening to things, or a visual learner, 
which is learning via seeing something. Another multiple ability that we've got here is interpersonal. And that just means that they're very, very good at reading people and knowing exactly what's happening around them with all the different people who are there. They're able to interact very well with other people. The verbal ability is someone who's really good with the gab. I'm sure you've heard that saying before. And you'll see some little kids, they'll go up to anyone and talk about anything and they'll engage people and other children are just very shy and timid and don't want to say anything. So regardless of whether a child easily socialises or finds it very difficult, they still have to be taught the social skills. And it's really important that we help our kids learn how to fit into society, whether they have a verbal ability or not, they need to know the rules of society. Some of the other multiple abilities that we're speaking about is the mathematical, the logical and spatial awareness type abilities. And you'll often see kids who can know exactly how many Lego blocks will fit into that specific spot or how we can actually put all of our things away and they fit into the cupboard and then other kids just chuck everything in and they just squish them in to see if it works. And all of these skills that we have, all these abilities that we have, are abilities that are naturally inherent in us. But that doesn't mean that the other abilities that, that are here and listed can't be taught. For instance, music is a great one. Often people say, oh, I don't have a music bone in my body. But what's interesting is that you can actually teach someone who doesn't have a musical bone in their body how to play an instrument and how to sing in tune. It's just a matter of gathering skills. And that's really what we're talking about with pre-literacy. It's gathering skills together to be able to then have the skill of reading. So let's look at some of the different skills that we need. In this course, we're going to go through all of these skills, learning to listen, talking and speaking, music and rhythm, learning about print, books, physical skills, telling stories and knowledge of the world. In each of these different videos, we're going to learn the different skills that we can teach our children and how to teach them, the different things, games we can play, the things we can do with them and the significance of each of these different areas and the impact it has on our children learning to read. Remember that learning is a progression. We start with the first concepts and then when we've done those first concepts lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of times we get fluency. And fluency is when we really understand what we're doing and we can start to apply it. That's sort of like moving information in our brain from soft wiring to hard wiring. And then we get literacy, which is applying all that knowledge into the skill of reading. So it's an amazing achievement for our children to go from those first concepts all the way through. So how do we get this? The best way that we can actually promote our learning is have an environment rich in language. Speaking and talking and books everywhere, it's that is what will encourage our children to want to learn to read. Seeing us read as well, not just on the iPad and on the, and on the iPhone or on your tablet, or on your Samsung, not just in those places, but actually physically getting a book or getting the newspaper and opening it up and reading it. Modelling this behaviour is what's going to encourage them to want to learn to read. Thanks for coming on this journey with us. We love having you with us. Life Unraveled is our name. And come back to the website and have a look at some more courses that you can do. See you next time. Bye.